not so fast. I will kill you both. You've been trying to kill us all morning. How'd that work out for you? Tell us about the attack. <laughs> Laugh it up. We're your last chance to come clean before you spend the rest of your life in Supermax. The Tarakul will protect me. Do you understand what he's talking about? My father used to tell me about him. I'm listening. They're called the Tatical. They're legends. <laughs> They're the original highway robbers, but they preyed along ancient trade roads. And this guy is one of them? You will all be dust long before the sun sets on the Tatical. Yeah, yeah. You and your children will beg for mercy as you perish in the cleansing flames of... Ah! Thanks, babe. It was my turn anyway. This guy was headed for Barcelona. Let me know what you find when you get there. Where will you be? I need to go check on our boy. Hey, Letty. Stay safe out there. You know me. Yeah, I do. That's why I told you to stay safe. They want to play with fire? Then let's turn up the heat. Sorry, Cam. You know we don't work on hybrids. Maybe you don't. And we're back to this again? Do you realize how much work we're losing because you refuse to live in the 21st century? This isn't work. You're talking about replacing batteries and a child's toy. Toy, huh? Do you remember when they did the recall after all those cars in New York went crazy? You know how much money we could have made off that? In other words, profit from a terrorist plot? People still need their cars fixed, B. Let me at least take a look. Cam. It's a powertrain problem. Let's tow it to our place. I'll take a look at it on my own time. We're not equipped to fix these things. Let me pop the hood and show you the beauty of these things. Okay. Hitch it up. Yeah? And let's take it over to Sebastian's. He'll give this guy a fair deal. But we better hurry. He closes early on Tuesdays. Hey. We brought you a present. Like we had a choice. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, what's going on? Sorry, Michika. I have a lot on my mind. Thoughts of me? I wish. What is it? Not here. You know how this town loves to gossip. Okay, then. How about we go back to my place for dinner? Cam and I were gonna find some place in the city, but I can throw something together. Aye. <laughs> okay, okay. That sounds good. Let's go. Don't you want to look at the car? Uh, my guys can take care of it. Grab Cam and let's go. Cam's good. I want to stay here and lend a hand. You sure? We good? Yep. I'll grab a ride in a bit with one of the guys.
Is that... Is that a Kamado? Yeah, 69. Wow. Where did you find it? Cam and I fished it out of a lake back in Florida. Couldn't bear to leave it behind. So are you finished stalling? Can you please tell me what the hell is going on? Uh, I need to come up with a lot of money in three days. What? Uh, have you ever heard of the Tadakul? Should I have? They've been around Barcelona a long time. They're sort of like um, a group that helps each other with, with special favors and business deals. In America, we call that organized crime. Oh, shit. You owe the local mob money? Look, when we met, I was completely honest with you about some of my business dealings, some of which might be considered extra legal. You said you were a provider of information. Look, I point things out to people, and if they're useful, I get paid. So, I provided the Tadakul with some information. And that info, through no fault of my own, turned out to be slightly out of date. And now, they want me to pay them for the expenses lost. Exactly how much in expenses? Uh... How much? A hundred thousand. That is insane! Well, the Tadakul disagrees. Damn it, Sebastian! How could you let yourself get involved with people like that? Hey, you're not from around here. They're hard to avoid. They have their fingers in everything. Don't you have any savings? A secret stash of unmarked bills somewhere? Ay, come on, V. You know my garage is barely hanging on. That's why you took pity on me, sending me that car. Hey, do you think I'm a criminal? Whoa. Who's a criminal? Well, you may as well tell them. Tell me what? We need a way of making a lot of money in a hurry. So it is true. You owe the Moroccan mob money. The guys at the garage like to talk. Hey, don't worry. I have a solution, but you're not gonna like it. There's a big street race tomorrow night. We are not getting involved with Mauricio. First prize is always some heavily modified ride. If you win, then boom, you've got the money to repay the gangsters. Well, a, a decent part of it. No way. There has to be some other way. Sebastian can handle it. When you're drowning and someone offers you a life preserver, you don't say, there has to be some other way. You can't reason with them? <sighs> These are not people that listen to reason. I hate to say it, but they're right. I either race or I turn myself into the police. Which is probably what I should have done in the first place. Well, if you're going to stand any chance of winning in that import of yours, it's going to need a tune-up. So how far are you taking these? Like I said, you'd be better off with me doing the work right here. I can handle it. Well, just remember, these things are extremely volatile. Oh, well, we'll be extremely careful then. I was right. Mauricio's put up his BMW E30 as first prize, the vampire car. With all those maws, that's gotta be worth 50, maybe 60 grand? That puts a serious dent in Sebastian's tab. Mauricio was also asking about you. He was all like, how come your friend never comes around anymore? I miss her. Tell her I want to see her. Whatever. He likes himself too much to like anybody else. I knew you'd come around someday. In your dreams, I'm here to support a friend. I think you miss the life. I think you miss Miami. Heard you used to roll with Suki and her crew. You heard wrong. There's my friend. 
see you around, Mauricio. Just answer me one thing. I really have to go. If you truly given up on the streets, how come you brought that sweet ride of yours? I'm willing to go double or nothing. Two cars, twice the price. But only if I see you on the starting line. Holy crap. You could win this and you know it. And double means Sebastian's debt would be completely wiped out. Did you forget everything we went through back in Miami? No, I didn't. I just thought you might want to repay one life by saving another. What's going on? Why do I feel like I just missed something important? Vienna's going to race too. No, 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 no. You told me after what happened back home you would never race again. I changed my mind. When we first met, you didn't even tell me you used to race. I thought you were just a, a cool chick who was into cars. So what, I'm not cool anymore? Oh, I, I, I cannot let you do this. Mauricio's put a double or nothing offer on the table. It could wipe out your debt completely. I'm not worth you going back on your vow. Why don't you let me decide what you're worth? It's a relay race, so we're partners in this. We'll do this together. It's me. Something's come up with one of our drivers. Tell your boss this could be a very good thing for him. You seem to be out here racing, Mr. Miro. Should you not be at home gathering our money? Whoa, whoa. You can't collect from a dead man. You'd be surprised what we can collect from the dead, my friend. Oh, this can't be happening. Oh, can't you see that I am doing this to pay you back? By winning Mauricio's car? Interesting idea. But Mauricio is one of us. His car, his house, his everything belongs to us. You are trying to win something that is already ours. That's between you and Mauricio. We were about to win this race fair and square. No, Fee, stay out of this. I'm sorry. I do not recall giving you permission to speak. You now have 48 hours to reimburse us, Mr. Miru. Or... Would you like me to pursue your debt with her? Enjoy the rest of your evening. Are you okay? Come on, we've got to scramble. I'm fine. Cam's right, we gotta go. Both done enough. I'm going to split. Those goons will be looking for you at your garage. No, no, I mean split the country. It's the only way to keep you both safe. You mean keep you safe? Don't you think they've already asked Maurizio who we are and where we live, and now the cops are after us too? Oh, shit. If you go, we have to go. But I'd rather not go on the run again. Uh, uh. There's gotta be another way. We'll sell all our cars, everything, and settle the debt. No, no, you can't. I'm going to turn myself in. Maybe the Tadakul will let me work off the debt. And then you become a criminal for real. Better than dead. I think I know someone who can help. You have contacts in the criminal underworld? Since when? Since before. And she's not a criminal.
Over here. I didn't think you'd come all this way. I was in the neighborhood. I wasn't sure you'd even remember me. My visit to L.A. was a long time ago. Ted put in a good word for you. He said you used to drive together back in Miami. Well, I don't drive anymore. That's not what I heard. I'm just looking for some insight into the Tata Cool. You know how serious they are? The Tata Cool are no joke. The top dog there is named Kai. Can I talk to this Kai? No one knows how to find him. Interpol has him on a red notice. Closest thing you can get to an international arrest warrant. <laughs> so a polite conversation is out. No. You have to speak his language. The Tata Cool are an international crime syndicate whose name means crossroads, a reference to bandits who would prey on travelers. The original highway robbers. See that truck? Yeah, I see them on the road all the time. Well, now the highway robbers have a front company. Using those trucks to move contraband all over Spain. And France, Morocco, and beyond. One of those trucks just landed in the police impound. Maybe you can pry some information loose before the cops do. Hey V, I'm at the third location, which looks like some kind of factory. Can you get a closer look? There's an insane amount of security around this place. I'd say it's a fairly good bet this is where they either pick up or drop off. Okay. Any of those other addresses work out for you? No, but you'll never guess what I'm following right now. This is pretty much the last place I want to be. What's going on? Where are you? I'm in serious gang territory. Like where I could get shot if I look in the wrong direction. Well, get the hell out of there. Meet you back at the house. So what do you think those trucks are hauling, eh? Rubies, bearer bonds, the lost Wu-Tang album. Who cares? We know whatever's inside is valuable, and we know the truck's route now. So? If the answer were any more obvious, it would be breakdancing on your face. Wait, you want us to hijack one of their trucks? No way. V, listen. Let me lay it out for you. One, we're not criminals. Two, you're talking about stealing from a well-funded, highly organized criminal organization that's been doing this for like a billion years. Three, if we fail, they most certainly will kill us. Can I lay it back out for you? One, they're not going to kill us, because two, we aren't professionals, and for that reason, three, they'll never see us coming. I actually followed that. What? They're right. The Tadakul is prepared to defend itself against tough rival gangs, not three amateurs. Oh, you're really selling this, Sebastian. Don't you see? That's our advantage. We hit them in transit, we steal their booty, and we're out. You two have lost your minds. V, you know we can do this. As much as I hate to agree with Cam, <laughs> I think we can pull this off. Well, I don't. Not without some help. V, 
Miss Ortiz. I was there at Race Wars when you took on that Audi. It was something to behold. Thanks. And Letty's fine. Letty and I have a mutual friend back in Miami. If we're gonna rob the Tadako, we're gonna need some rides that can't be traced. I'm so sorry I pushed you into this. You didn't push anyone. No, I pushed. I have a habit of doing that. Cam, honey, this is all on me. They put you in cuffs? You set us up! Where are we? Now, wait a second. Did you cut a deal with Interpol? Are you their informant now? I am never forgiving you for this. Are you done? Look, we're helping Interpol with the case. Just like you, they're after Kai and his organization. And was killing Sebastian part of the master plan? We were trying to save him, just like you. Who is we? Dominic Toretto? Hold on. The two of you are working for Interpol? How is this even possible? We're doing someone a favor. A favor? For who? Nobody you know. We believe the Tadakul are a supply chain for a larger criminal network. What'd you think? You were ripping off a truckload of VCRs? Okay, we get that they're super scary. So why did you help us rob them then? We wanted to force Kai to show himself. You gave us a way to do that without arousing suspicion. You're kind of amateurs, Tim. Rude. No, she's right. Kai, the man in the Mercedes. We were just mosquitoes he was swatting away. Kai likes to keep his foot soldiers close and his enemies closer. You want revenge. We want justice. Interpol wants information. What do you expect us to do? Make a decision. Do you want to stay amateurs or take this to the next level? This is all Interpol can afford? I'm getting tetanus just looking at this place. We're in the middle of a Moroccan desert. Not many five-star accommodations around. Wait, we're in Morocco? Please tell me you know where Kai is hiding. Mm, not exactly. He's been on the run since Barcelona. We detected him in her food, but after that, his trail went cold. So he could be anywhere? He still needs supplies and a way to communicate. Our drones have been getting shot down whenever they go near this. A data center we know has links to his organization. Aw, he's camera shy. There's no way to hack it from the outside. That's why you two are going inside. Us? Drive in, hack the server, get out. This sounds awesome. This sounds insane. Interpol will set you up with fake backgrounds strong enough to pass security. You're also gonna have to learn that ancient, beautiful language called Arabic. Whoa! What are those? <laughs> Been working on these for a while now. Two desert machines built from the same parent chassis. Sort of like siblings. 
Well, the Moonshine Racer has my name written all over it. Uh, no. You'll be driving that. Seriously? It's garbage. Doesn't get any more anonymous than a van. At least you finally got out of Barcelona. And into the burning desert inside a crap-ass rust bucket. What do you think, Dom? Are we ready to pull this off? If I didn't believe you could do it, I wouldn't have asked. Hecky. We should have been ready. El, han entrado completa. Zid. Good work. Looks like a list of businesses and properties on the Tatakul payroll. So now Interpol can just roll in and... These are just map squares, not precise GPS points. We're gonna have to check these out in person. And soon, they're gonna be on high alert, since your escape wasn't exactly stealthy. Hey, that was only partially my fault. Vienna, you ready to ride? I'm not letting Kai slip away again. There's nothing here. No, he's here, all right. Letty, we found Kai's hiding place. Gather the troops, we're going in. Everybody, quiet! What is it? Mm, something's not right. Get back! I know how hard it is to lose someone. But the device confirms that Kai was a supplier for something larger and scarier than you realize. Try us. If you want to slay a beast, you gotta cut off its head. His name is Emil Elias Ormstrid. He used to run rackets all over Europe back in the 60s. Blackmail, extortion, murder for hire. But never prosecuted. Never caught. Witnesses had a funny way of turning up in the morgue. About 20 years ago, he moved his operations to America and claimed to go legit. But Hobbs found evidence he was involved with Owen Shaw in the search for nightshade components. And he's been making some new connections. What does this Ormstrid have to do with that device? We've got someone on the inside with his current crew. And we know he's been trying to get his hands on Eclipse. Since we stole it from him, though, it means Kai will be heading to Ormstrid empty-handed. And that's a meeting we definitely want to be a fly on the wall for. When do we leave? You leave with Letty in an hour. I'll meet up with you all later. Wait, where are you gonna be? Looking for a race. It's 
It's no days off. Take no breaks. You in my lane. You in my way. You cross that line. It ain't your day. Yo, man, still waiting on my ride. Don't you know what chop chop means? That's your undercover guy? Wait, I recognize him. He's a friend of Tej. Roman something. Yeah, Roman something, all right. Wait here a minute. Let me find out what's up. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Come on, Betty. This shit ain't cool. You're gonna blow my cover. No, for real. Tonight I'm running some huge op that's inside a bad guy speak for operation. Never would have guessed. I'm just waiting for the call. Now, who are you two? <sighs> Vienna Cole. I used to race with Tej back in Miami. They've been helping us with the Moroccan op. Right on. So what you gotta understand is that I've spent weeks working my way up the ladder. I'm practically running the whole thing now. Impressive. Yeah, that'll be my secret terrorist network contact. I'm supposed to deliver something important to the big boss himself tonight. Okay, keep us posted. Damn, Letty. You don't think I know what I'm doing by now? All right, cool. I got a bounce. I got a whole criminal organization to run. Hey, man, where am I headed? Subtle, that one. I assume I passed in? You talk too much. We're still on for drinks later, right? Mr. Piers, I heard you ran into some trouble with the local law enforcement. Oh, was that what I saw in my rear view? I was going too fast to notice. Then it appears you're exactly the driver we need for a rather delicate operation. You know I'm the only man for the job, right? Did you ever order something online, only to never have it appear on your doorstep? Ah, sure. That sucks, man. Immensely frustrating. Especially if it's something you specifically wanted, and you can't have it... ...just because some idiot screwed up on the delivery. Fortunately, there is a replacement. One that will satisfy my requirements after some adjustments. Right, right on, man. Are you up to the task, Mr. Pierce? This fast food cure hangover? Good luck, Mr. Pierce. My son Kai will give you the details. Oh, wait. This is your pops?
It's Roman. Okay. I got a top secret mission. And I'm gonna need two things. What's that? First, some cars. I mean, serious cars. Okay, what else? I'm gonna need some kind of signal scrambler because what they want me to steal can never be turned on. Ormstrid found himself another Eclipse device. I've been thinking of a way to jam it. Leave it with me. Yeah, the big boss man was pretty upset that his son Kai lost the first one. Wait. Did you say Kai? Yeah. Kai is Ormstrid's son? And you saw him tonight? Saw him? I could have reached out and smacked him. Huh. What are we waiting for? First, we meet up with Dom. about. Hey, what's up? Deja vu. Maybe this is where our luck turns around. How did you find out about this race? Every city, every town in America has got a race. Tell me again why Interpol can't just give us some cars. Roman's supposed to be this lone wolf wheelman. They expect him to find his own rights. So where are they? Dominic Toretto! Welcome to the Big Easy. Mahalia, I got a business proposition for you. Anything for a legend like you. We need some cars. Ah, uh, that I can't do. Look, Dom, what's mine is yours. But this whole thing is legit. I've heard the rumors of what you do with cars nowadays. And I can't have it traced back to me or what we've built here. Great. So what do we do now? What we do best. <laughs> Respectfully, nobody in their right mind would consider going up against you in this race. True. But I'm not going to be the one behind the wheel. This is no amateur event, sweetheart. What'd you bring? 500 kilowatts, 750 horsepower, and 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds fast enough for you, sweetheart. Fair enough. We'll see if your sleeper car can keep up with these. to me, Roman. No, man, I'm good, I swear. I mean, I've already been pushed out of a plane. I've already been harpooned and damn near drowned, which means I'm pretty down for anything, right? When in doubt, do what I do. I've seen what you do. That's why I'm kind of terrified. We'll have eyes on you the whole time. Kicking back with drinks while you watch me splatter my brains all over the place. Yeah, I feel better already. Maybe you've been undercover so long you've forgotten who you are. And who's that? Roman Pierce, who drives with the best crew in the world. <laughs> That's right, I am. Man, I got this. I ain't got this, this shit is crazy. What'd you say? We're doing this, unless you're having second thoughts. You'd better not screw this up. Hey, your daddy called in the best. Let me worry about the rest. You don't know a thing about me or my father. You're an errand boy, nothing more. Yeah, an errand boy who hooked us up with supercars. So show a little respect, homie. You are a fool. You got this, Roman.
Good luck using your busted ass device now. I can see you, old man. Nice bowling through that car park, by the way. That's you, Cam? Yeah, I hacked into the closed circuit camera. I can see your every move. Nah, that's not creepy at all. Stay sharp, Roman. Your friends are back. Hey, big boss man. I didn't know they'd be dragging you away from whatever you're doing in that warehouse. Bravo, bravo. Excellent work, Mr. Pierce. Everything I heard about you and your crew is true. My crew? Nah, I'm a lone wolf wheelman. You know that. Right, Lamar? Oh, I'm sure that Dominic Toretto would be disappointed to hear you say that. And Laddie Ortiz. Who I'm sure is watching us also. Possibly even Tesh Parker or that Goliath Hobbs. Roman, get out of there. I don't know who you're talking to, but it's just me. I got your fancy toy and everything. And is that all you brought, Mr. Pierce? Okay. Which one of y'all put that piece of junk in my trunk? Spare us! Your predilection for braggadocio has proven to be your worst enemy. What did he just say? Like I said before, you talk too much. We know all about your family. To those of you who are watching, let me be brief. I have an important business on a very short timeline. If you or any other member of your team attempt to disrupt my experiment, Mr. Pierce will pay the price. <sighs> and believe me, I'll make your death last a very long time. for him no you know what to do now we're just gonna let them take Roman hey guys trust me that ain't gonna happen how do we make a move without getting him killed guys what is it Ormstrid may have turned the scrambler off but would you be interested to know about the tracking device I put in Roman's car before we dropped it off now look who's turned pro. <laughs> This was all a distraction. Tell me you have something. There are two warehouses listed from the data drive we got in Morocco. We'll take one, you guys take the other. Got it. I don't... <laughs> 
get it. <coughs> is he dead? Oh, what is this? Mining gear? <coughs> and heat-proof panels. What the heck are they doing with this stuff? Could be useful, though. Word must have gotten out. It's Vienna. The first warehouse was a bus. That is. Roman, I'll call you back. Let's go get him. Roman, get down! Is that me? Oh no, Roman. They told me this was a bulletproof vest! My employer likes to keep his pets on a short leash. What does that mean? It means your birth certificate now has an expiration date. Am I gonna blow up? We've gotta get him back to base. Yes, please. Take him back so he can send all of you to hell. Shit. How much time do I got left? <laughs> Does it matter? <coughs> Your country is living on borrowed time anyway. Letty, find out what you can about Eclipse, and I'll take care of Roman. My pleasure. Is it off? Yep. So I'm not gonna blow up? Oh, hell yeah! Uh, look, I'm glad you're okay. But we need to know what Ormstead is gonna do with that device. Yeah, especially since Salome is refusing to talk. Now, I didn't hear everything, because maybe you didn't notice, but I was busy being held hostage and all. Okay, you know there's this protective net covering the country, like an invisible force field, whatever, thing, right? You're talking strategic defense. Right. Well, that Eclipse device is actually a satellite. And when launched, it'll allow Armstrid to temporarily disable that safety net. Leaving our country defenseless. That's what Salome meant by borrowed time. That's right. Nightshade 2.0. And he's launching it today as a demonstration for potential buyers. Buyers? Who the hell would buy something like this? Terror groups, rogue nations, psychopaths with a lot of money. There are plenty. So he's planning on dropping this safety net? Giving anyone who wants a sucker punch us a free shot. What are you doing? Is that dial a prayer? Good idea. Let me hop on the line when you're done. I got a couple, you know what I mean, things I want to throw in there. I'm looking for potential launch sites in the greater New Orleans area. You take Vienna and Cam to check out the sites. Where are you going? Shopping. You want to blow me a kiss now, scumbag? I heard your boyfriend crying. Weeping in the wreckage. You're lying. He was begging for his life. Begging to be put out of his misery. I tell you to say hello to him for me. V, don't! But I'd rather see you rot in jail. You fools. You have no idea. <laughs> Quiet now. Grown-ups are talking.
Please, please, no, no. Hang on, Letty, we're coming. What is it? I can't take any more bad news. <laughs> I'm okay, guys. I'm all right. You had us seriously worried there. Why did you break off the chase? I think I've got us a way to find Armstrong. Something I ripped from that huge digger. It's gonna need some tech love, though. We've got something, too. Meet us back at base and we can figure this all out. You're already too late. We'll see. I'm thinking you want to know the launch location. So why don't you save us some time and tell us then? Not even if you tortured me. You know what's torture? Being stuck in a room with you. Do your thing, Cam. I'm in. It's some sort of network beacon. I'm guessing they install them on all their important toys. If so, then it's pinging just one remaining location. Let's get moving. Hell yeah! Not you, Rome. We need you to keep an eye on Kai. Wait, wait, wait. So I'm gonna be stuck here babysitting Junior while you ladies are off saving the world? Guess I'm your daddy now. <laughs> Armstrid. Come with us before you make it worse for yourself. Oh, Miss Ortiz. I've been ahead of you people every step of the way. Yet somehow we've caught up with you here. I'd say we're doing pretty good. We have Kai in custody, and we know about the satellite. Kai is just one of many sons that would take my place once I'm gone. If I were you, I would return to your loved ones and console them, because nothing will be the same after today. At long last, the playing field will be leveled. Is that a euphemism for murdering millions of people? For decades, the U.S. thought it couldn't be touched. That the isolation of the U.S. mainland would keep you safe from... Spare us. We know you're doing this for money. Tiger doesn't change its stripes. Kill them all. Stay down! Don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Oh, you got to be kidding me! We can't lose him. But let me get this straight. Our choices are to either get shot or race through the swamp? Pretty much. Just show the world how to give America a, a, a black eye. <laughs> how do we stop it? You can't. So after all that, we lost? Not on my watch. Let's go.
You do know that I was behind you this whole time just watching your back. More like guarding your own backside. So what did I miss? Oh, nothing. We just stopped some high-tech terrorist evil plot. Nah. Next to you guys, they were amateurs. Don't hate me, but now that this is over, you don't want to go back to Barcelona. Hell no, I've missed this crazy country. I miss Miami. I think it's finally time to own up to my past. You mean... Yeah, we're going home. I should have told you guys earlier, but there's an arrest warrant for me in Florida. Please, half of Florida is wanted in Florida. No, I'm serious. I organized a street race, and people died. There's something about that race you don't know. What do you mean? It was a gang hit, made to look like an accident. But you split before talking to the cops, which puts you on Miami PD's most wanted list. <sighs> we got evidence that the engines in that race were tampered with. We got some family in law enforcement. This should clear your name. I'm sure Interpol will put in a good word for you, too. Didn't seem like you wanted to talk about it back in Morocco. Guys, I, I appreciate that. But I'm not exactly innocent. Compared to us, V, you're a saint. Plus, you two got skills. We could use drivers like you. Are you serious? Is he serious? I don't know, are you? You've earned your place when you put everyone else's needs before your own. Now you've got a new family. They wanna see me fail, love to see me down, trying to keep me out. In the morning, through my veins. Just don't know it yet. Nice moves. Don't expect that to work next time. Always one step ahead, buddy. It's dumb, Morgan. You'll be driving the prize. You and your crew better pull this off. See, what did I say? Lena Navarro is the best damn fixer in Silver Rock. Yeah. I am liking how she sounds, Rav. You built this all yourself? Given enough time and attention, an artist can turn any pile of scrap into a supercar. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. You know what we do now. Party? Practice. Let's roll.
position. Jess? Standing by outside the circuit. Mac? The Mac Attack is ready to roll. You named your truck the Mac Attack? She named herself. Raph? Just get the car to me, and I'll take care of the rest. Time to make us all rich, Tyler. I got eyes on the mark. The gambler's here. Well, look at that. It is a beautiful day for a race. I've got you at four to one odds of taking first place. Now, I know this prototype won't let me down. The question is, can you handle it? Those electric motors and twin turbo V8 will give you a combined 1,500 horsepower. Yeah, I can handle it. Woohoo! Good boy. You've done your homework. Now listen, second place doesn't get me, Jack. Got it? You seem like a hot hand. Don't screw this up, all right, Hotshot? Do you suspect anything? Not a thing. What the hell? What's going on? I'm on my way. Ralph. I saw them take that car. Thank you, officer. What have you done? Didn't Rev tell you what's under that hood? My buyers are paying a fortune for it. You'll never get away with this, Navarro! The cops are on their way. The house sends their regards. Hey, what happened here? Navarro. Mac, get him help. I'll draw the cops. But go! <laughs> Where's the car? Lena Navarro. She played us both and took it for the house. Did she? You're useless to me. Enjoy prison. Although, you'll want revenge. So will I. Yeah, th this'll work. You'll be the ace, but I'm the one who holds the cards. What are you talking about? Hear that? Cops are almost here. Go to jail or... Work for me. Eat, sleep, drive. When I say, and when the time is right, you'll get what you want. Do I have a choice? There's always a choice. Get in. So you pull up next to a real sweet ride. What do you think? How much does it cost? How fast can it hit 100? I tell you what I think. I see potential. I see the knife's edge of control, that split second where I put everything on the line. I see myself winning it all. Morgan! The boss would like his car now. Yeah. I'll be right there. Ticking where you sell the casino or we'll take it from you. Great job. Enjoyed the ride, Tyler. Look, now's not the time, kid. I say when the cards get played. It's been six months. Get out. If you so much as Dinged my car. I'm knocking you down to garbage truck duty. Hope you enjoyed being on top, Lena. Your race rigging business ends tonight. This is it. Welcome to the big time. Hope you like your new ride. Your code name is Sidewinder. Stay on this channel and do what the boss tells you, and she'll make it worth your while. Sidewinder. Got it.
Gigs up, Lena. Your little stunt cost a lot of people a lot of money, Tyler. You just mess with the house. We run this city, streets included. Every race, every midnight run, every off-road rally. And the house always wins. Well, not tonight it didn't. Mr. Navarro, we can't do this here. I'll see you around. Make sure he never gets home. Imagine a city where risk is an illusion and every bet is rigged. That's what the house wants, and they'll stop at nothing until they get it. I'm a street racer. This has nothing to do with me. What? No, 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 no. This, this has everything to do with you. Everything. Their leader is called the Collector, and he's got one addiction. Cars. You ever heard of the Outlaws Rush? Biggest street race in the country. Yeah, it is, and the house is gonna rig it. High rollers putting millions on their man, and he takes a cut from it all. Tonight was just a test run, and your little stunt gave me an idea. Oh? Look. I've seen you drive. You're the best racer this city has. All we have to do is get you in. Win the Outlaws Rush and the house and Navarro come crashing down. Bring down the house? Yeah. Not my fight. Save your casino yourself. These are your streets, right? Then this is your fight. What do you think they'll come for next? to expect great things at your race tonight, Navarro. Instead, you disappointed a lot of people. Mind explaining this? It's already taken care of. Focus, Mac. Gotta get through this. Find your smile. <laughs> hey! Hush, puppy. Big fan of your channel. It's Hash Tiger. Yeah. Tiger selfie! Uh, no, here we go. Roll, mate. Roar! Selfie. Come on, big roar! Roar! Roar. Epic. Get in the car. So, Hush Puppy. Hard enough for you? Tyler, is that you, bro? Hey, Matt, Captain. It's been a while. It's been a rough six months without the old crew. You're telling me. Mac, I, uh, I have a job in mind. You off the leash? You know I'm always down. Just like that. You're bored, aren't you? So bored, mate. Is Jess on it, too? I'm working on it. Hey, Mac. Did you get a shot of me puking? Work faster. A 
Okay, vault's open. I'm in. Jimmy, cover me and watch for guards. Look at this hall. You guys are late. I hate waiting. What? Lady, we're in the middle of a robbery here. Ha! <laughs> Jimmy! Damn it, we gotta get out of here. Just so we're clear, you're paying for two extractions, no matter who makes it out alive. Jess, hey. So, about this stupid plan of yours. It's not... yeah? Let's meet. Where are you? This is the dumbest plan I ever heard. I left the game because of crap like this. The best crew in town always gets a racer in the rush. So all we have to do is beat all the Silver Rock street leads and I'm in. Mac will handle the off-road and drift. I'll do the rest. What about the house? They control every dirty deal in town. Well, that's where you come in. They'll have a bulletproof setup. Talk to your underworld contacts, figure out what it is, then we take it out. So, win the race, watch the house burn while we count our piles of cash. Simple. Fame, fortune. Leah Navarro getting what she deserves. You idiots are gonna get yourselves killed without me. Guess I'm in. Yes! Rav? You know we can't pull this off without our master engineer. <laughs> You're so full of it. If you're that desperate, I'm in as well, and you can use my garage, but there are a few conditions. First... Whoa! The crew's back together, baby! Serenity now. Either of you fools even have a car? Oh, I, uh, I sort of lost spare. mine. It's a, it's a long story. Seriously? There are cars in the back. Clients who never paid. I'm surrounded by... When you fly down the highway at a hundred miles an hour, every decision is life. I'm dead. I am La Catrina, and this is the Graveyard Shift. You the gringo who wants to join our midnight run? Join, beat, same difference. Name's Tyler Morgan. Morgan, huh? <laughs> Never heard of you. Try to keep up with us. I'll do way more than that. You're here, good. Listen, the house is running convoys in the town, and the next one's my Koenigsegg with some extra tech attached. You and your friends are gonna grab it back for me, okay? Why would we do that? One, you owe me. Two, I'll let your buddy Rab peek under that hood before you hand it over. Don't need a third reason. We're in. Yes. So, here's what you do. They're transporting the Koenigsegg across city limits in two hours. We intercept, then grab the cargo. It'll be part of a convoy. What are you thinking? Quick hit and run. Get me close to the truck and I'll take care of the rest. Rav, you turned that Mustang into a runner yet? Yep. Followed your specs, the plating's all in. It'll take a punch and dish it right back. Great. Mac, you and Rav got that drone ready to fly? I'll be your eyes in the sky. All right. Time to show the house we're back. I see it. Truck's almost there. And they grow their muscle.
Find whoever did this. You can be sure of that. My investors are becoming anxious. I pulled you out of the barrio because I thought you could handle this. I can. I hope so. What's under that hood was worth more than your life. <laughs> this better not be you, Morgan. Where will you be when the revolution comes? We are the last stand against corporate tyranny. We are the drifting freedom fighters of the misinformation age. We are shift lock. Be a deer and step on it, would you? Why? What's the rush? I say so, and you want to please me, so go. The outlaws rush. Morgan is in. Doesn't matter. We'll beat him, then I'm coming for you. Ooh, scary. What's this? The final piece of the puzzle. Win, and the house gets all of Silver Rock. Lose, and the house will go bankrupt, paying me and everybody else back. Your casino. You want to bet? All in. I own the Outlaws Rush. You want to be this stupid? You're on. Ooh, that's a pretty big bet. What's your boss going to say? Well, when I hand him your casino, anything I want him to say. Hope you're right. May the best man win. Oh, she will. The house is gonna throw everything they got at us. Expect kill switch cars and heavy cop interference. Jess, we all set? They'll never see you coming. Great. Mac? All good to go. Me and the gang will give the cops a night to remember. Rav, I've got a little surprise cooked up just in case. And Tyler, once you know which cars you're taking into the rush, better make sure they're set up just the way you want them. Yeah, sure. We'll take one last look. This is it, then. Let's bring down the house. Looks like you made it to the starting line after all. And I'm here to take you down. Oh, oh Tyler. Every driver here is out to crush you. Every cop in the city is after your blood. You're just another loser standing in my way. And you're about to run out of luck. You see, that's where you're wrong. This has never been about luck. What are you waiting for? Finish him. Call in other crews, then. What do you mean they're all taken out? <laughs> Call in our friends on the force. Make sure no one gets through except our man. They got pulled away? How many? Everyone? You know what? It doesn't matter. I'll take him down myself. Ha ha ha! 
World's greatest right here. Where are you? Your damn wager has ruined us, Navarro. It's gonna take all I have just to survive this. The house is done with the streets, and we are done with you. You can't. I've worked too hard for this. Everything you achieved, I've given you. Now, I'm taking it away. Take me down, and you'll burn with me. You know how much I've got on you? On all of you! I should never have trusted you. I will not make that mistake again. We won the rush and took down the house. What's the next job? I have an idea. Whoa! No way! But first, race to the airfield. Really? Is that a trace of fear? I, I get it. I'm a champion. Oh. I'd be scared too. Oh, you are so on! You'll play against the house was both ruthless and elegant, Mr. Weir. Tyler Morgan was an inspired move. He might still prove useful in the future. I know. The collector is finished. You won your wager. Welcome to Arkwright.